one of the most outstanding the county has ever seen. We have two Marines. The Marine Corps will be well represented. Uh, Sergeant Satterfield, uh, tell us about the activities. Are we going to have many units? Yes, sir. This year we're going to have 44 units, and this will make up four divisions in our parade. And, of course, before the parade starts at 1 o'clock, we will have a flag raising ceremony at the reviewing center, the American National Bank. And at this time also, a band will hold a concert for about 15 to 20 minutes. And we'd like to have people down for this concert at all possible. Now, Major Jay Dobbs of Indianapolis will be the principal speaker. Uh, yes, sir. The major will be up for the speaker. Fine. We've heard the major speak before, and we know that people will want to hear him tomorrow. Uh, Sergeant Wirtz, uh, tell us about your work in the Marine Corps and your participation in tomorrow's parade. First, what is your duty? Well, I'm the uh, state representative uh, for the Women Marine Corps, and uh, I will be driving the uh, Marine Corps Queen at the parade. Oh, that's fine. And you will have uh, Marine women units in the parade participating? Yes, sir, from each of the services. Mm -hmm. Good. You're certainly uh, an ideal representative for the Marine Corps. Are women taking a greater interest in the Marines now? Do you have many members? We have about 2,700 in active service. And what do you do in the Marines? I'm a recruiter. <laughs> You're a recruiter, but I, I meant women as a whole. Uh, uh, yeah. Clerical work and so forth? Well, just about everything. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much, Sergeant Wirtz. And here we have the Queen and her court, and the Queen is... Anita Miller, Muncie Central. I must say, and it, it was a very difficult choice, I'm sure, because we had such lovely entrance this year. Uh, what do you think of your duties as Queen? Well, I think it's a great honor to be Queen of the Armed Forces. Um, Saturday I'll be riding in a convertible, one of the lead cars at, in the parade. Good. How did you uh, decide to enter the contest? Was your name submitted? Did you submit it? How did this come about? Um, well, each year I think it's a tradition that uh, the student councils of various schools choose the girls from the schools to submit their names. Good. They do a good job, really. And here are the runners-up, and you can see why the judges had such a hard time. We'll ask your names and your school, please. Peggy Bowers, Cowan High School. Fabian Gate, Bruce. Betty McCaffrey, Southside. So you see, besides the uh, armed forces that will be participating, the principal speaker, we have the lovely Queen and her court. Be sure to participate in tomorrow's Armed Forces Day observances starting at 12.30 at the courthouse.